published 0604 EDT, the 26th of October 2017 updated 1011 EDT, the 26th of October 2017 a supercell storm has battered the east coast with massive dumps of rain but it's not over yet, huge hailstones and lashings of lightning have hit NSW and Queensland but the Bureau of Meteorology has issued more severe thunderstorm warnings for Thursday night for the two states, the Bureau reported golf ball size hailstones hit Mount Maroon, near the border of Queensland and NSW, while hailstones of up to 5 cm have lashed parts of NSW. Scroll down for video. A supercell storm has battered the east coast with massive dumps of rain, but it's not over yet. Huge hailstones and lashings of lightning have hit NSW in Queensland, and more is on way. Bureau of Meteorology has issued more severe thunderstorm warnings for Thursday night for NSW in Queensland as they cancelled a severe thunderstorm warning for Victoria. The experts warn severe thunderstorms are expected to produce large hailstones, damaging wind gusts, and heavy rainfall that may lead to flash flooding. Bomb said golf. Golf ball size hailstones hit Mount Maroon, near border of Queensland and NSWTHE experts warn severe thunderstorms are expected to produce large hailstones, damaging wind gusts and heavy rainfall that may lead to flash flooding. Bomb released a number of separate weather warnings for the two states. Flash flooding, large hailstones, damaging wind gusts and heavy rain causing flash flooding is possible Thursday night in areas including Newcastle, Gosford, Canberra, Gowelbourne, Port Macquarie, Lismore, Coffs Harbour, Terry and Orange. Destructive wind gusts are possible in the lower Hunter region along with giant hailstones. Damaging winds and large hailstones are also expected to lash parts of Queensland including Ipswich, Toowoomba, Emerald and Blackwater Thursday night. Wind gusts of up to 89 km per hour were recorded at Toowoomba before 5 p.m. Thursday. Hail fell on Australia's east coast with storms set to hit northern NSW and central Queensland. The wild storms have caused some flights to be delayed or cancelled at Canberra Airport. There are no severe thunderstorm warnings issued for Victoria as they have been cancelled. Wild storms have caused some flights to be delayed or cancelled at Canberra Airport. There are no severe thunderstorm warnings issued for Victoria as they have been cancelled. The most powerful storm so far this season formed on Thursday morning in the ranges and moved to the coast in the afternoon, lashing the region from eastern Victoria to central Queensland with intense rain, weather zone meteorologist Graham Britton told Daily Mail Australia. Australia's east coast was warned to brace for large hail and strong winds as thunderstorms pictured hit NSW in Queensland, potentially creating very dangerous supercells. The most powerful storm so far this season will form on Thursday morning and are expected to hit their hardest Thursday night. We're potentially going to see winds in excess of 80 km per hour. Large hail is also a possibility, as well as localized flash flooding, he said. The storms may create the perfect environment for dangerous supercells to form, Mr. Britton confirmed. Tom Saunders, meteorologist for Sky News, said there were three ingredients necessary for a thunderstorm, and all three would be present on Thursday. Bomb issued an updated severe thunderstorm warning for parts of NSW and Queensland. The regions from central Queensland and parts of NSW will be lashed with intense rain. There have been reports of 80 km per hour winds, hail larger than 4 cm, and localized flash flooding. MR Saunders said the secret ingredient which made thunderstorms severe, called wind shear, was also present. Wind shear is the difference in wind speed and or direction over a short distance. High wind shear can rotate storms, causing them to become more powerful and dangerous. The meteorologist said it is very likely wind shear could play a part in creating supercell storms on Thursday. Sydney, Canberra and Brisbane should prepare for damaging winds more so than heavy rainfall, forecaster James Thompson, with the Bureau of Meteorology, told ABC probably the worst of it is east of Roma to Gundavindi, across into the Brisbane region in the afternoon, and anywhere really south of Bundaberg, he said, so one or two places might get 50 plus millimeters but mostly a lot less than that. On Tuesday, Baum said there was a good chance of a La Nina weather pattern, which could bring intense rain, storms and cyclones throughout the summer months Sydney and Brisbane could be facing the most powerful thunderstorms so far this season. Tom Saunders, meteorologist for Sky News, said there were three ingredients necessary for a thunderstorm, and all three would be present on Thursday. Mr. Saunders also predicts a supercell storm could hit the two major cities on Thursday. Experts predict the southeast parts of the country will receive above-average summer rainfall instability and shear levels on Thursday look sufficient for supercell development across southeast Queensland and along the northern and central NSW coast and adjacent ranges, he said. Mr. Saunders said weather should return to normal by Friday, but storms could be in the works from Saturday to Monday. On Tuesday, Baum said there was a good chance of a La Nina weather pattern, which could bring intense rain, storms and cyclones throughout the summer months. The chance of a La Nina forming in late 2017 has increased. 
chances are now around 50% twice the normal likelihood, the Bureau said.